Hey ladies and gents, welcome to Leon Car Show for the second time. We're here in the fenced area to check out the new Smart Hashtag 3 Brabus package. This is the orange car behind me. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So we have been given this access to uh, review it separately. Uh, huge thanks again to Smart Crew. And uh, let's check it out. So we're starting from the profile because it's uh, slightly cornered there. So it's longer than the Hashtag 1 version uh, slightly more spacious uh, you can see coupe design uh, towards the end looks sporty and uh, definitely with this big alloys also looks uh, sporty this is the sport package you can get so uh, let's just check the tire dimension here uh, I know this is not my standard uh, route when reviewing the car 245 40 R20 so these are 20 inch alloys you have Brabus uh, here signature diamond cut silver on black five spoke looking beautiful with red contrasting uh, brakes now the side skirt has Brabus uh, signature there uh, you can see this is uh, unpainted plastic protection going around the arches to the uh, skirt and front and rear bumper you have Brabus signature here this is gray finish and then color of the vehicle accent we have the flush handles black side mirrors and around the windows there's a black trim part of the Brabus package we have 360 camera there and a little uh, light here when you unlock the car there's a Brabus uh, bottle light at the bottom we have also smart emblem there uh, look at the front wheels again red calipers now uh, we are a little bit limited so I'm just gonna start from here we have the wide lens camera for lane assist light and rain sensor and uh, moving to the top we have a banner roof it's not openable but has a electronic shade you can see speakers inside and I'm gonna back up here in this corner and I'm gonna switch to wide lens so there you go that's the uh, new smart and it's slightly different from the uh, hashtag one but uh, small changes zooming back in so we have on the Brabus smart in black and we have these uh, data running lights slightly different you can see the smart one has a extended part at the bottom hashtag 3 has a uh, shorter part here but it's connected in the middle we have two lenses and also these are cyber spark LED we have the smart signature in there also side tunneling through there piano black details and then this is a part of the unpainted part there's a little gray accents uh, and dark gray accents with in the opening orange accents radar is there another wide lens camera and then a little cut here on the Brabus package to make it a little bit more sporty looking and Brabus signature on the front now um, with Stanley go here we covered that and we have the handles that are auto representing so you have here smart now you have blind spot warning there no auto dimming and again Brabus Brabus badges now over here you have the type 2 AC charging and then combined CCS2 DC charging port well smart light there and then you have the smart inside beautiful signature and look at this 3d details on these lights these look amazing so I'll have to get to this corner to show you the car I'm gonna switch to wide lens once again so there we go that's the uh, back end coming back so again connected LED taillights they have a gimmick when you lock and unlock the car smart in black and hashtag 3 as well so on the back we have another badge Brabus here so in case someone missed it from certain angle they know you have the top package LED uh, reverse lights cat eyes uh, the, well the fuse is actually nice you have five spoke here wide lens camera and two LED cold lights this hashtag one has warm lights now how to open this well you press the A that's a button and then I'm gonna switch again to wide lens so it opens nice and tall switching back so there we go on the top we have a button to close there's a little instructions in towing uh, if electronic system fails you can open through here uh, you can 
close this manually or adjust the height. Uh, now we have this cover here. So you can see that. So on the right side, you have grocery hooks on both ends. Uh, and the right side has a 12 outlet. Uh, both ends have these pockets. So it's similar to the hashtag one, uh, but you can see there's a warm light on the left side only. Seats so knocked down 60 40. You can access the rear opening through there. Have tether points uh, for the isofix and tether points here and here, all four sides that are metal. So there are four fingers to the loading area, or five. Five you have plastic protection here, and there is extra room in the bottom. Now, this is a false floor, and this can go actually can't. I thought. Uh, in most cars it could go down a little bit, but in this case, that's not the case. Okay, uh, on the bottom, extra four fingers, and then over here, maybe five and, and another five, so ten fingers from the bottom to this area. This is one finger thick, so eleven. If that uh, matters to you, you can measure your finger uh, thickness with this ruler if you want to see the centimeters. Now over here you can pull and then knock down the bench but we're not going to do this in this case uh, press to close there's a, a light sound that you can hear in this open space and uh, that's it now um, look at the top kind of roof and spoiler now this is a really interesting color you can see how it sparks there's a lot of flakes inside and then i like how they finish this spoiler there's a stoplight and you have a wiper on the back now uh, tinted windows on the rear good opening and closing sound and so the doors open nice and wide so same as in the smart one this is padded with leather red contrast stitching big handles uh, you can well there's no not an option here to lock for the kids inside there's speaker here and here beats big pockets so this is the same as the smart one I've reviewed, so you can check that in a separate review. Aluminium illuminated doorstep. And then over here, you can knock down the seats. So you have the seatbelt holder, and you can see the cargo space from the rear. On the top, you have those beat speakers. And uh, you can unbuckle this if you want to. And uh, you have red contrasting seat belts red stitches and you have the peripheral red Alcantara openings inside and there's like small smart buttons or something and look at this excellent looking you have one big carpet there now it's okay feet room you have ambient lights for the footwell you have big pockets this is all leather so this is kind of plasticky, but it looks very nice. Same air vent with ambient lights, USB C and A, little pocket there. Seats are nice, comfy. You saw here, spoiler the uh, armrest could go down, adjustable rubberized bottom, nice and practical. That can open down, then you push, then you pull here, but you have to do that. And close that up and these you press down you can adjust those you can see those and you can see the panel roof these are pressable all three sides have besides the driver handles there's nice hooks there that extend so this is how the window goes down in the back let's hear the closing sound well all the windows are open besides this one so uh, i can't really test that now Headspace, it's a sloping roof, but I can extend. Actually, I'm missing slightly some space. I'm hitting the glass roof, but if I was an average person, I'd be okay. So I would say this is okay. And then look at the front. We have very similar to the hashtag one. Let's get on the front. So once again, a closer look to these. These are pressable. Uh, seat belt is adjustable on the front. Some cars don't have that adjustable height-wise. And to wrap it up, let's get on the front. So frameless doors, they open nice and wide. Uh, you have all the power windows, lock and lock from the inside, big handles, big pockets. It's a bit cheap on the bottom, but soft 
pat it on the top where you touch. Uh, your tire pressure is here. Again, illuminated doorstep, smart. Lumbar, back and forward, uh, no for this. Seat up and down and tilt. Same material, small bolsters here, bigger here. And they've added, well, I don't know, this is just a, a beauty detail. There's an opening there. There's a 12 volt outlet over there. That's plain. Pull twice to open, gonna open that at the end. And uh, you have the sport paddles, a little storage area there. Lights, keep them on automatic. Automatic long beam, steering column is manual. And look at the top. We have the ambient lights here and in the vents. Open, excuse me, closed, open. AQS. Didn't realize what that part was, but it's there. And here's the point of view. You have nice big mirrors on the side. You have a small display here. You have the heads up display there and a beautiful infotainment with this nice animation. So in the hashtag one, you have a fox. Here you have a, uh, a cheetah. So not a leopard, a cheetah. So there we go. This is supposed to be closed, but let's zoom in. So smart here, Brabus at the bottom. So it's a sports steering wheel, flat bottom. And uh, you have Alcantara on the outside, a leather on the inside, red stitches there. Have the eye monitoring driver system there. Press to wipe, turn signals, lights, reverse neutral drive, press to park. And this is all covered by leather here, but here it's padded. There's evidence going there, beats, beautiful speaker. That's also with ambient light speaker there and there. As shown, you have the heads up display there. You have all the necessary information here and you have driving modes. So if I go here, these are touch modes. You have the eco, you have the comfort, sport, and then you have the Brabus. That releases the full power. You have the hazards here. You can see them from the driver perspective. Now I'd like to get these up. Oh, I can do that now from the driver position. So you can hear the soundproof. It's actually quite good. Okay, let me show you the headspace here. It's plenty of headspace. Really good soundproof inside. And uh, just another glance at the screen is slightly better in person. Looks like this. Now the camera is focused. We do have ambient lights. They're extending behind the screen through the dash. This is soft and then hard. Now there's a spacious glove compartment. You have this three air vents here. There's slightly more space in the smart hashtag three than in the hashtag one. So you're not really hitting this, but this is slightly padded if you do hit here. But just from my perspective as a top person, there's definitely more space here, but you're still gonna be touching this, but slightly more roomy uh, probably the car is slightly wider you have a wireless charger there to you SBCs for charging and for media events are illuminated and adjustable as shown so this opens up you have two adjustable cup holders there's rubber at the bottom and there, there's place here and this is some kind of gray finish for the Brabus package press here to open and over here have a AC uh, vent so you can close or open to cool your drinks in summer this is nice and spacious uh, it's rubberized there and you have a charging card there isofix point there the seats are nice and comfortable interesting uh, headrest it's not adjustable but it is nice and big cushion with a b there uh, this is plastic removed but this is a baseless mirror so it it's a good overview in the back a bit further away though have the emergency call there, seatbelt information. These are touch cold LED lights. Also smart emblem there and you have the speaker there. Over here you have a nice cloth and you have the um, place for your sunglasses. There's a document holder here and here. You have a beauty uh, mirror that has a light when you open it. And this uh, does not extend, but it covers most of the part here. Um, just a quick glance at here. So we have a beautiful infotainment. You have B is your home menu here. You have pages with icons for the navigation. We have a very responsive screen and it's nice and fast. Uh, we have the 
app circuit here you have the energy for the charging so this is in French I haven't changed it but you can see it looks really nice so you can change here you have a uh, like recuperation serving uh, height ambient lights oh wow look at this these are beautiful they change and there's so many options here so there's here and here so I'm not gonna go detailed for this I reviewed the smart one and I've covered the infotainment you have the 360 cameras here really good you have the maneuvers you have the angles you can see 360 here the car you can check different angles and um, now there should be like a language somewhere but I can't find it at the moment. Oh system. Ah language. So I'm just gonna say UK setting language for you. Now we have driving mode, so it's in Brabus mode, driving mode here. So you can see that so changes. And there you have a shortcut here for the uh, Cooperation and so on. So here you have notifications, software updates, privacy settings, vehicle conditioning, vehicle settings, so all of that, pause and lead. That's a bit fast. Comfort driving assistance. Well, we don't have the key, so we can't turn this on, but you can read all these safety information if you pause and read the general information it's classic boosted sound display so you can have automatic you can have a night display this looks way better uh, there so this goes to night connectivity lightning uh, reading lights off or on welcome lights environment lights welcome light a oh so you can change these so that's a gimmick when you turn on the car so that looks pretty cool rear fog lights okay and you have the ambient lights we showed you we have the driving modes um, we have a shortcut here for the ac so we have the cheetah there air quality and you have the shortcuts for the navigation music 360 and that's the home menu so if you press on the cheetah she reacts there so that's pretty cool she jumps away from the rock you have of course your temperature here and the shortcuts uh, here uh, there's driving assistance and so on but I covered most of it of course you have the Spotify here and you have uh, Android and Apple CarPlay we're gonna wrap it up here because this was really detailed uh, I'm sure there's other people who want to review the car uh, you have the smart carpets here really nice with the little aluminum finish there I'm gonna pull here to show you the uh, front space it's small but you can store maybe cables on the front so let me just show you here so just lift it up and it has a uh, gas trucks there so uh, over here there's a little space there so maybe you can put a smaller I don't know reflective vest first aid or like a home charging cable uh, washer fluid is there so uh, if you open this there you go as I said that's where your washer fluid is uh, I'll need two hands to close this properly because you need to widen your hands to uh, put your hands above these latch points and then push it down with a little force to close it properly and this is closed so switch it to wide lens uh, once again huge thanks to smart crew for lending me the car for review and if you want to see more I'm going to review the separate video hashtag smart one in Brabus package so check it out and do subscribe not to miss that and click the bell to get notified when I upload that video also stay tuned for more uh, car reviews from Leon Car Show